Where are you getting this stuff? Maybe I am a cheater. But you have no right to tell me that after you cheated all your classes last year. By the way, whatever happened with Anna happened. Stop denying it. I know you like her. What? I'm not stupid. Look, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going for Lisa for test answers. You can forget about your ad for next week. Oh, damn it. I felt like Saki. I really did. He would beat me though. He's much stronger than me, but I don't care. You deserve it, you stupid jerk. Eventually, my conscience is overtaken. Danny was pretty strong, or at least his arm was. I lied there a few days or so. I didn't feel like getting up. Plus, I was really tired. I slept really late, past midnight. Sometimes I'd stay up all night for the heck of it. People whispered as they passed by, but I didn't care. Bell rang. I had another final, my English final. Crap. I completely forgot. In class, we're reading Catcher in the Rye. I'm all for English literature and all. I love The Great Gatsby and Grapes of Wrath. At first, I liked the book, but after reading it for a while, I hated it. The main character was a complete hypocrite. He himself was a funny. He was completely pathetic and totally disgusting. I hated him. He ruined the book. The other characters were pretty likable, but I loathed him. And you know what else? People begin to call me Holden. Jeez. They don't know what they're talking about. It really pisses me off. Anyways, the blood from the sock began to trickle to my eyes. I stood up quickly and went to the restroom. After washing it off, I left campus. I didn't want to be there anymore. School sickened me. After I started to walk home, I truly realized how hot it was. I decided to take the bus instead and go to Andrew's house. He's my cousin. He goes to middle school and he's in the seventh grade. He isn't very bright. He used to be real smart, skipping two grades in elementary. He read a lot too. High school books. For pleasure. But I guess he was soon overwhelmed. In fact, he's supposed to be a ninth grade right now, but he was held back. I'm not very proud of this, you see, but I was supposed to tutor him last year in Algebra 1, a math that I barely remember. He failed life science, social studies, and art. He was barely passing English. His only A was PE. However, he had a D plus in Algebra 1. The school told him that if he passes Algebra 1, he won't be held back. My uncle asked me to tutor him, so I did. I really wanted to help, and I didn't want to let him down, so I helped. But I did more harm than good. I couldn't remember Algebra 1 that well, and I made up things sometimes. He was held back. At first, he felt really guilty, but when the second, seventh grade year rolled around again, he was extremely happy. He said all his classes were easy now. He kept all his previous homework from the last year and made only a few changes. He was always hanging out with friends, among other things. He never thanked me, though. That's okay. I knew how grateful he was. He has it good though. I guess you could say I was sort of jealous of him. I still felt really guilty though. His middle school had a half day and his parents were at work so I went over. He didn't mind. I was feeling really lonely and, you know, sort of sad. I often feel like that at school, but I'm very good at hiding it. I don't want to hear people ask me what's wrong when they really couldn't give a damn. Hey Sheldon, what's up? Oh wait, it's only one. Did you ditch school? Shh. Yup. Andrew. Can I stay here a while? Of course, come in. So why'd you ditch? I ditched because I was so sick of school. You're always sick of it. You never stop complaining, do you? Well, I have a good reason for it. People that are sick of me, they are disgusting. I can't believe everything on Danny. I knew that. Danny just pissed me off more than usual on that day. I wanted to explain it to Andrew, but it would take so much. First, there were the people who said I reminded them of Holden. This girl named Jennifer once yelled out loud in psychology and pointed at me when we were discussing mental illnesses. She wasn't serious though, but she jokes around like that all the time. She's just trying to be funny. You know, we used to flirt around a lot last year in history and laugh her butts off, but now everything is a joke to her. I hated that. Another guy? Patrick wrote an essay about his girlfriend from English class. The class liked it and thought it was real sweet. I refused to eat that crap. What a fake. Maybe it meant some, but not all. Plus, his essay got him attention from other girls. 
but he thought he was all cool and replied to invitations on dates with, Sorry, I'm taken. The teachers are no good either. I dropped by the staff room one day to make some copies. I overheard them making fun of students as if they were the better ones. I seriously hated that school. It depressed me and it made me want to jump in front of the bus. It's too hard to explain. Don't worry about it. Don't be a baby. Just tell me. I have time. I told him everything and everyone that pissed me off. I thought I would feel better if I told him, but I ended up feeling a little worse, especially when he well, said, That's surprising. Why are you so cynical? Jeez, just like my parents. I thought I would get annoyed by him, but oh, I was okay. People say that a lot. It really bugs after a while. You need to stop being bugged by everyone, you know? Why, why can't you just accept things for what they are, or at least see the good in them? I do accept things! I accept people for all their flaws and... You do not. Well, I try to see the good in them. From all the people you know, name someone with good qualities, or at least someone you like. That's where I was stumped. And a little shocked. I couldn't think of anyone. Not even Anna, after what Danny said. He seemed to be telling the truth. I began to feel even more depressed. After thinking, I thought of only one person. 